if if Raptor can get away with holding Banana for a longer period of time and forcing Diddy to play a bit more honest than he normally has to, we're going to see the matchup be a bit more even. And right out the gate on Smashville for game one between Raptor and Dill, we see Raptor putting on plenty of damage for uh, Dill. An easy 44%. Now, I'm not sure if they simply agreed to this stage or if Raptor won the RPS, because this is a stage that I know Raptor in particular favors. He moves around so freely that, you know, you would think it's on par with Diddy Kong's movement for uh, Smashville. Right, but this is definitely also a very good stage for Diddy Kong. Eon, he normally benefits from, in similar ways to how Sheik does. He does a solid job of walling you out in similar ways how we do an FD, and he can get good extensions off the platforms with forward air and back air. Very questionable roll from uh, Raptors. They get him punished, and now, ooh, Yoshi's roll, one of the worst rolls in the game. So incredibly reactable, and Dill certainly no slash when it comes to reacting. And he's going to be able to catch the tail end of that with his up air. So now, still sitting at 120%. Raptor's been pretty commanding with the percentages of this battle so far. Great use of the jump to get through the... Oh, wow! He, he had that down. read! <laughs> oh, wow! The fear coming out from Dill. The quick jab on Dill's shield into the down smash. Such unique usage of the egg roll. I've never seen him pressure shield with it like that. I don't even know if Dill was expecting any of what came out of that, but a very nice stock taken for Raptor. And now, with only 82%, Dill's got to step his game up if he's going to, you know, keep his record up on Raptor. Right now, the ledge pressure coming out from Diddy Kong. What Diddy Kong is definitely known for is that ledge pressure. But Raptor's trading between stage. He had Banana. He's doing his best to just keep Banana out of here. We saw a couple of times in this match so far that he's used the egg to snipe the Banana. And he's been able to control it for himself, getting a couple of trips on Dill. Not really punishing too much off of them, but definitely using the stage advantage he gets off of Dill uh, not moving around as much. And at this point, with only 13 extra credit, this is still definitely incredibly doable for Dill. It's just a matter... Stare down. The stare down, but I like what's going on. Raptor opting not to go oh, anywhere off the platform. Unfortunately, that tiny bit of pressure was all that Dill needed in order to move himself back on. So now with only 41%, he's still very much in this game. And with this banana pressure coming out from Dill, it's going to be difficult for Raptor to actually approach him unless he can get control banana before Dill can get, get at it. Now, this is going to be where Raptor gets a lot of his damage. Once Diddy Kong is in the air, a lot of pressure is going to come out from up airs and up tilts to catch uh, Dill's landings. I like how Raptor uses his peel away fares. Uh, it's a common tactic we see in his gameplay, but we have definitely be seeing a lot of it as far as the close range pressure that Raptor is able to put out. Oh, and the out, banana! That's exactly why! He Angel Cortez with Yoshi. He's able to put out so much pressure because it has such a large hitbox and the, the meteor box on it just provides so much utility at the ledge especially. And whether or not he got the spike box or not, it was all a matter of that damage he racked on, and it was just positioned so well. Right, and it's not quite the Angel Cortez that we're so familiar with. However, it's a spike from the Z-drop catching, uh, catching Dill's jump and forcing him to do barrels there. So he had no other option besides to jump up and get fared for it. And it was great coverage. By, uh, by Raptor. And right now, Dill just looking to propose himself a little bit, take a, a bit of a breather. He's got to tie his hair back. It's time for serious mode. And he's running it back to Smashville. Uh, why I am somewhat surprised at this, I would imagine that uh, maybe uh, Raptor did end up banning FD in this case. Uh, I think this may still be the best option that Dill has in the matchup. Anyway, now, right now, Dill sitting firmly with stage control and is being able to rack up the damage on Raptor that was expected. Right, and this is, again, the start that Dill needed here. He's got a quick, uh, about 50%, and now just have to wait and be patient and just hope that Raptor does something that can be a bit punishable, maybe more so on his shield. This or is more typical of this matchup. We see that Raptor's forced to approach, and Dill just has so many options 
to cover. Right, and that's one of the strategies that Diddy Kong has. It's almost like he hides the shield, the banana under his shield. You do a landing aerial on it, and then you get slipped by the banana, and then he can follow up. Yeah, unfortunate aggro must have been a missed input from Raptor, but it's going to put him in a sore position, and still trying to go for the up air on it. And again, this game, a much more dominant performance from from uh, Dill. However, I think that was meant to be an up smash there, and maybe he, uh, Dill is a tap jump user, so he ended up getting an up air. Now we have the back there. A lot of damage racked up on Raptor right now. Now we're still looking down the barrel of a Rage Yoshi. If Raptor's able to cement himself on stage, these are very strong hits that Dill's going to have to watch out oh, for. And the banana into the monkey flip still not killing Yoshi at 176. Yeah, the weak hit of the monkey flip not going to be enough, even at this percentage. But, oh, missing the follow up. That definitely was not meant to be an F2. Diddy Kong's F2 is notably probably his worst move in his arsenal. While certainly not an awful move, it does not kill to a very high percent. I like how Raptor just throws it off, but unfortunately, he's not going to be able to cover enough options because Fair is going to pick him off, and he's only gotten 37% on Dill. Right, and now it's just a matter of can Raptor get an early game on Dill to bring this game back? That's how he's going to have to bring it back. Diddy Kong's neutral is going to force him to approach him eventually. So if Raptor can get control once, it's going to matter of can I get him off stage and can I forward air him? Now, Dill, Dill has managed to lap Raptor in percentage at this point. There's just so much pressure it output it on him. But punishing the tech with a very quick nair off that forward air. And we got another one. Not gonna be able to tech that. <gasps> oh, oh, and no. the footstool! He's still able to come back though. He saved his jump and he's got plenty of momentum from his up B. Oh, and Yoshi's <laughs> down B not connecting there, dropping while trying to get the punish on uh on Dill's grab. We're seeing a lot more rolling from Raptor that we're typically not used to. Right, and it's, it's definitely backfired on him. Dylan's just been able to punish it every step of the way. And a great recovery there by Raptor, stalling off stage to the point where he was having to force Dill to choose an option and then get back. And a jab to Nair there by Yoshi, and that'll take it. Avoiding the two stock, but can he bring it back enough so that he can uh, avoid a game three here? Yeah, he's sitting right now at 123%. Dill is in fantastic positioning right now to just force Raptor to approach on him. All right, but this is where Yoshi gets his big damage. However, the quick forward air coming out from Dill, allowing him to land once more. Here, here's the issue now, is that Raptor is forced to approach Dill, and Dill is just going to wait until he does something that, Dill can, that he can punish hard. Oh, and all of a sudden, 56% on Dill. Starting to get into a scary situation here where getting into off stage, he may die to one of Yoshi's aerials or simply to just another fair spike. If Raptor plays this patiently, this oh. is still a game in his favor. And a forward arrow to the nair is going to already rack up to 91% on Dill. Oh, and he's not able to punish there. Bit of a DBZ and moment, but the forward jump is going to be keeping him in. And the forward throw, that will still not take it at 174%. Dill's running out of options here. Another jab set up into an air. Could potentially be it, but the forward throw is still not going to do it. He's at 190 percent right now. Dill is struggling to take out this stock. Oh, and he missed the banana in the back of there. Oh, the forward air? A that forward air is it. going to do it. We're going to be going into game three. 200 percent on Raptor before Dill was able to take the stock. He was definitely having some issues after Raptor was just kind of forcing an approach um, because they were both at death percent. He was just kind of forcing him to kind of play footsies with him until he made a mistake. And unfortunately, Dill was able to keep him at the ledge and capitalize and finish off that stock. I think we probably will see Raptor end up going back to Smashville. I think we're going to go back to Smashville. Yep, yes, and we just will. like that. It's just such a strong stage for both of these two characters, for both of these two players. And we've seen it go neck and neck in these games. But let's see if we have a different outcome here in Game 3 because Game 2 is looking very strong for Dill in the beginning of that game and it wasn't until the latter half of it where Raptor started playing much more defensively where it started to even up. Right, here we see Dill with stage control without the percent lead though. So he's just going to get a little bit more percent just to force Raptor to make, make a risky choice. But those risky choices are paying off here for Raptor. So Raptor managing to get first blood off of a few straight connections here and there. But... He's got the banana control. We're seeing a lot more of what we saw in game one where 
He just wants to stay mobile. He wants to take the banana out of Dill's control because that's where he's going to get most of his stage control from. It's that banana. And it was a quick 40% coming out from Dill that's almost evened up this game. Raptor responding very quickly. Here we go. Raptor back off stage again. Dill has been able to keep stage control, but I feel like Raptor mixes up very well in how he's approaching and being able to still get in on Dill's uh, immense stage pressure. Right now, sitting with a percentage lead, it's a matter of who's going to be able to break this because the two of them are just going back and forth on projectiles. It's going to be Dill. Dill diving in with the forward air. And forward air into up air. He's going to link for Raptors, putting Dill at 110 very dangerous situation to put himself in, especially over here. Oh, reads the air dodge. Up air is not going to kill. I'm honestly very surprised. Almost at the top of the screen with max raids or, or quite a lot of bit of raids. Diddy Kong did not kill with up air there. Nair, but that Nair is going to do it. It's sitting at 97%. Raptor could take this over Dill. I think Dill is trying to calm down, compose himself, wait on the platform, and see if he can get stage control back, and then just force Raptor onto the ledge and kill him how he did in the same way he did last game. Now this is what I mean when I talk about the Smashville platform and how it can be used defensively. You see Raptor not even bothering to approach, he doesn't have to. Right? And what? the fact that he sits on that platform, it, it, it's able, it's very easy to read how Dill is going to be able to approach on him. Even though Diddy Kong has so many options, you know he has to come from below you in some manner. It's just a matter of how long can Yoshi camp out on the platform. I think that uh, Raptor does want to get some extra credit here. And he's able to get out of that up throw combo. Oh, and the great intercepting the F-Smash with the Nair. And almost being able to catch that monkey flip of a forward air, but nonetheless, Raptor staying healthy at 124. <laughs> Very interesting banana interaction is going to keep him even safer. Wait, and with a 45% extra credit, this is a well-done job by Raptor. Even if he does lose his stock right around here, 45% is a good amount of extra credit. Almost got the up air follow-up, but 66% on Dill. And he manages to get the up smash. Yeah, a bit of a mountain to climb, a small one at that, but Dill... But if Raptor can just maintain the pressure that he's keeping on Dill here, because it would start with off with 83% on that first stock, or on that last stock, it's going to be difficult for Dill to make this comeback. I just want to point out that there's two and a half minutes left on the clock right now. Both of these players can play it very patiently if they want to. Again, same as before, Raptor does not need to approach Dill. With a 50% lead, he's not forced to do anything to try and take the stock. He has to wait for Dill to approach him and maybe make a mistake. Great damage coming out from Dill. Uh, what, or narrowing the gap, it's simply a 20% lead. Raptor doing everything he can to try and keep the banana out of Dill's control, and it's really what's been helping him in this match. The up air, reading the jump option to get the banana. Oh, and, and up air, up air, and that'll and take he's going it. to take it. It's 2-1 Raptor over Dill. And Raptor, again, in a matchup that was uh, quote-unquote free, uh, Raptor taking it. 